Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Seagate Expansion 28 terabyte external hard drive. You heard right, this retails for a little under 400 US dollars. It was recently on sale uh, at Best Buy, so I grabbed one. I think it was 330 US, which gets it closer to making sense. Now, to my knowledge, this is the largest external drive on planet Earth that is uh, commercially available right now. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's not like I dug too deep into this. I think it just came out literally less than a month ago. So when I saw it was available and on sale, especially in the face of Tariff Town, I was like, let me at it. The other thing to be aware of is that what makes this attractive and part of the reason I was out for the first time to get storage in years is because the last time I stocked up was right at the beginning of the pandemic and I, I just bought a ton knowing I needed it and well... I've made it this far, but it was time, and uh, if you haven't seen the reports lately about NVMEs, really SSDs, not NVMEs, but we know it's true of NVMEs as well, that they are losing their data if not given power on a routine basis, that's where you start to realize cold storage, I mean, I know this, knew this, but I remind all of you, is not going away, and you really want to have... Uh, cold storage available like this so that you can just archive what you need to and then come back to it years later without having to worry that it has physically vanished. So, you know, when you start to see stuff like that, you run. Now, some of you don't like Seagate. Some of you don't like Western Digital. Some of you don't like either of them and just like to store things on buttered bread. But the whole point is, is that failure rates happen with every manufacturer. I've had you know, mixed experiences from just about everyone. And if you're around long enough, it's a matter of luck, it's a matter of exposure, but probability rules the day. And if you go through enough drives, you know that unless something really catastrophic happens at the factory level, or they've literally sold you a turd, they all kind of fall into similar failure rate territory. So I'm not expecting anything bad from Seagate here. While some of you, I'm sure, will show up to tell me about how terrible Seagate is, uh, the reality is... It's ultimately a matter of luck. Now, I plan on taking this out of the enclosure. That does void the warranty, so keep that in mind. But the warranty is only one year. And some of you are going to say, well, that's why it's a Seagate, folks. And I'm going to tell you, no, it's because they stuck it in this enclosure and they know the value of this drive independent is far greater than it is inside this enclosure. Also, they know these enclosures do not lengthen the lifespan of any of these drives. Um, so we've got a USB 3.0 cable and then the power brick along with a wide array of adapters for international plugs. So that all basically tells me Seagate is shipping one version of this to the world and not bothering with regional builds, which, well, is just part of a global economy and having to make things uh, you know, a little bit more flexible for the world. At least that's how I view it. So there's what we need, and that's pretty much it. The rest you could keep for a travel day. But I'm excited to get this going. I also picked up uh, the 24 terabyte version. I'm not going to unbox that because, well, that would be incredibly repetitive since it's literally identical. Um, they didn't have another 28 in stock, and this was on sale too. So I figured, hey, let's see. Um, so two Seagates entering the paddock. We'll see how they go. I will uh, return with some throughput and uh, let you know how the shucking goes um, since I plan on using this outside of this enclosure, clearly. But that's pretty much it. Any questions or comments about the largest external hard drive on Earth, feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.